New Zealand lawmakers voted overwhelmingly for new gun restrictions on Tuesday. This is due to a mass shooting that happened two weeks ago. Bradley's Muslim Student Association held an event last Friday about the tragedy. New Zealanders are known for their warmth. Like the United States, they are a country of immigrants and they want to accept everybody. Unfortunately, on March 15th, there was a mass shooting at two mosques. So basically about two weeks ago, there was a shooting that took place in New Zealand, um, namely two mosques in New Zealand, a lone gunman, a terrorist, I believe in total. <clears throat> he massacred about 50 people. And this event is just in light of New Zealand. Um, we really just wanted to bring people together and um, have everyone join in discussion on how we would just combat hate. The event was held this past Friday as a way for Bradley students to remember those who lost their lives. The event opened up questions about dealing with intolerance. An overarching theme to the discussion was even in the most vile of times, there is still good that can come out of tragedies. Muslims believe that there's good that comes out of any bad that takes place. People understood that terrorism, you know, a lot of people who didn't understand before understood now that terrorism doesn't have a specific race, religion, or color. People are saying that New Zealand's Prime Minister has done an amazing job in the immediate aftermath. For such a small and safe country, they are not used to this type of violence. This type of event can make people question what it is they should do. I feel like it's really important to engage in discussions so that we kind of um, learn how to coexist with one another. Even though we, we're different people, we all have, um, um, we all want the same thing, you know, and we all want to live in, live in peace. Bradley's Muslim Student Association has more events coming up. If you would like to discuss anything raised in this segment, then contact Bradley MSA at gmail.com. For BUTV News, I'm Matthew Karoff.